minutes now. Nala Ayed is watching Syria from neighboring Lebanon. It's the middle of the night there, and bear with us because there's a short satellite delay connecting with Nala. Nala, I, I think we all know that there are a lot of different audiences this speech would be playing to in Syria tonight. What's your sense of how they're likely to react? Well, Peter, even before the Russian proposal was, was made public, uh, I, it was very clear that it was the opposition and the rebels that felt they had the most to lose by any postponement of a strike by the U.S. And so I would imagine that they are thinking that again tonight, that they are the biggest losers here, that there was perhaps a missed opportunity because they would have used any strike by the West or by the U.S. to try to change the tide or, uh, in the fight against the regime. And they feel that this was really a chance that they had lost out on in statement after statement the rebels have said to the west do not fall for this trap they called it I, the Russian proposal, they said it was a ploy essentially to buy time and to change the, the interest in trying to take a strike at the regime. And in, when you look at uh, just the Assad regime itself, obviously they see this as a victory. Uh, it's business as usual. It is Assad's birthday today, it's Wednesday already here and you can imagine he probably has more than one reason to celebrate. Now we know there are hundreds of thousands of refugees in different camps fleeing from Syria. You've been to some of those camps. What's the likely conversation taking place in those places tonight? Well, you have to remember that in the wider community here, but especially among the refugees, the whole notion of this, uh, what the U.S. had proposed as being a narrow, limited strike wasn't really resonating here. What people had thought about was that it would, this would be a wide-ranging uh, attack the way it, it was with Iraq. And so to the extent that refugees felt that that might help alleviate their suffering or make them go home sooner, you can imagine that there would be some disappointment tonight. And as they have felt from the beginning, Peter, of this conflict, they would probably feel quite abandoned tonight. All right. Nala. Thank you, Nola Ayed, in Beirut tonight. Well, in their concessions today, the Syrian regime also agreed to sign the Chemical Weapons Convention. The agreement outlaws the production, stockpiling, and use of chemical weapons. 189 countries are party to the convention. Syria is one of five countries that refuse to sign. The others are Angola, North Korea, South Sudan, and Egypt. Israel and Burma have signed, but they have not ratified the agreement.